Hello, this is Armando with Hoosier Security, and I wanted to take a minute today and show you one of the uh, simpler but more powerful functions of, of Vigilon Alta Aware, uh, formerly known as AVA Security. So we are here on our demo system. This is the home screen where you would uh, log in and have access to all of the different things uh, within the system. So I'm going to take a couple seconds and get you acquainted with how the software looks and works so that you know what we're looking at. We'll go up here to video view, and this gives us the ability to drag over cameras uh, and see what's what's going on there. All right, we are today going to focus on this camera right here, which is our warehouse. You'll see down here you've got a timeline, and you can uh, see the activity that is on that video, okay? Um, so you're getting live video right now. I'm also going to show you a couple other quick things that you can see in here to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Here's the map view within uh, AWARE that shows you we've got two cameras on the system, shows where they're aiming and what they're seeing. Um, and uh, this will also pop up analytics for vehicles and people when there are any people in there. You can see down here, there's uh, a couple of instances where it spotted, uh, spotted some activity in the warehouse. So today we are going to focus on uh, what is called uh, the rules and how we can use those rules to create a higher level of awareness uh, around your facility. So uh, what we're going to do is take this camera right here, which is just a, a general shot of our warehouse, and we're going to alert uh, whenever somebody is in the warehouse after hours. So um, let's go ahead and hit up here to the plus plus sign where we can uh, select our, our activities. We're going to go over to rules. And then you can see this is a demo system. I've cleared out all the rules that are in there, but we're going to add a new rule. And here are all the different things that you can you can do. We can trigger uh, alerts based on appearance uh, when a human being or a vehicle appears, line crossing, loitering, different sound types, counts whenever there's more than so many people or less than so many people within the view. Uh, that is uh, hugely beneficial within manufacturing environments where we have to have people uh, at machines for certain amounts of times. Uh, access control, anomalies, and sensors. Today, we're going to focus on appearance. We're going to name this rule after hours warehouse. How about that? There we go. We're going to hit next. And then we are going to alert on a person, uh, which gives us all of these options. Now, you can trigger on uh, similarities. So you can trigger somebody, uh, an individual person you want to load in there. You can trigger when that person appears. You can also go on any of these things. So we can assign, you know, red shirts and blue pants, or I'm sorry, red shirts and then blue pants. Uh, you can do black pants. You can do black shirts. Uh, you can do uh, any, you can ignore that color or do that color, or you can clear all of these out um, like that. And we're just going to alert on any human beings. But if you have to do this with vehicles, say in your in your lot or anything like that, we can also do the same thing with with uh, colors of vehicles and different types of vehicles. So uh, large vehicles, two wheeled. If we're worried about people on bicycles or whatever it is. So for this case, we're going to go people. We're going to do people wearing any color, and we're going to go next. Uh, we're going to do this on the warehouse camera. It'll give us a little preview right here, and we're going to set up an area of interest. So it doesn't have to be the entire camera. It can just be. Uh, certain spots. So we are going to highlight all of that right there. And you can take this and make different types of uh, shapes and stuff. We'll just do a, a rhombus for right now. All right. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit next. We get to select when. For this case, we are going to go daily. Uh, and we're going to go from, oh, let's say uh, 1800 hours to uh, 600, six o'clock in the morning. All right, and it says plus one, meaning it's it's into the next day. I'm gonna hit next, and then we're gonna send an email. Uh, we're gonna select our users. We're gonna send that email to either groups, right? Either all administrators or all operators, or you can send it to the admin. I'm gonna send it to myself as the owner of the company. I'm really curious if anybody's in here after hours. Uh, we can include different information in there. Uh, we can add this. So right now we are getting the name of the rule, the time that it triggered, uh, the device name, and the rule type, and then also a picture um, of the image that triggered it, All right? So we're going to hit uh, done right here, and boom, that is it. So now, whenever anybody appears on this camera within that field that we set up after hours, I will get an email uh, and a picture of who is in there. 
So you can see how this could be uh, very beneficial um, in uh, various different situations. So not just for when people are in, in a warehouse or in a space after hours, but when vehicles are coming into a space that they're not supposed to be, uh, when uh, you know employees, let's say all of your employees wear red shirts, we can trigger uh, whenever somebody is in an area that is not wearing a red shirt uh, and we can alert that somebody needs to go out there. Uh, and take a look at who's there. If all your company vehicles are uh, are white pickup trucks, we can do a, a lot. Anytime a vehicle that is not a white pickup truck shows up, we can alert and let someone know that they need to go out and take a look. So um, that is all. Again, this is Armando with Hoosier Security. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. And please reach out if you have any questions, 317-644-0570, or you can visit us at hoosiersecurity.com. Thank you.